Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 30th. This is around the 30th. This could be the 31st, could be the 1st of February, whatever. Timing is fluid. I find that these readings t tend to play out a few days later, up to a week later. And I've heard that from a lot of the people that watch as well. So, who knows? Let's just see what comes up. Let's see what I can pick up for a message. What do we have for around the 30th, 31st, something like that? What do we got? The Wheel of Fortune reversed right off the bat. Now, the Wheel of Fortune reversed is a setback, okay? It is a setback. It's a delay. This is not, I mean, it's bad luck. It's something not working out. Past mistakes coming back to haunt you. This could be a shocking, unpredictable loss. It, I can't, I'm not going to pretend, okay? This is a fall from grace. We have somebody here that is repeating negative patterns. They're not learning. They just keep doing it and doing it and doing it and doing it. And it's wrong. It's not working out. The Wheel of Fortune is about change. Life is always changing. But we have somebody here that is refusing to change. Therefore, they're going to experience a setback. And this is something, a past mistake that is coming back to haunt you. Okay? Now, this could definitely be a loss of some sort. Bad luck. Could be dealing with a Leo. Doesn't have to be. Doesn't have to be. But we do have a Leo here. Um, this is about strength. What goes around comes around. You notice the infinity sign on her arm. What goes around comes around. So yeah, something and and it and it's not going to be pretty. I don't believe it's going to be pretty. Now this person enjoys their control, loves control, enjoys their power. Now this is a card of strength and perseverance. You may need to have strength to deal with this setback. This setback is going to make you stronger. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Okay, so be prepared for that. Eight of Pentacles. It's gonna Something is going to take a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of effort. Hard work. Somebody's going to have to find their strength to put in effort to do something. <laughs> to release. Now, there's releasing here. The hangman reverse. This is somebody that is obsessed with control. The hangman reverse. This is an obsession. Not learning a lesson. This, this just reiterated what I was saying. Somebody that's fighting their inner self. Somebody has been hiding something. Very egotistical. We have a very egotistical individual here that is working hard. Trying to, it's like they're trying to prove. This is trying to prove something that isn't real. This person is going to have a setback. Whoever has been trying to control, overly controlling, trying to do something that it's almost like they're trying to, you know, I, you know what I saw when I looked at this card was like somebody that was it's, it's, it's like trying like black magic. Okay. And I don't believe in black magic, but there's a lot of people that do that think that they can control something that they aren't meant to control. And that's what we got here. We have somebody here that is trying to control something in a bad way. Okay, this is in a malicious manner. Black magic is malicious. It doesn't work out, but whatever. People think it does, so whatever. Go ahead and think whatever you want. That's your own opinion. Anyway, um, this is negative repetitive pat patterns coming back to haunt you. We have somebody here that is trying to do something against another person's will. Because you notice, it is, it is. It's like, it is against, you see, she's got all the items you know, somebody is trying to do something against a person's will. 
It's all about power and control here. It really, really is. I can see that it is. We have somebody that is overly obsessed with control. And this is clinging to control as well. We have somebody that is obsessed with being in control. This is somebody who has a humongous ego. Huge. Huge. And this person is definitely not learning a lesson trying to control We all have free will. And it's like, and this is somebody that doesn't want somebody to have any free will. So yeah, we have somebody here that is very controlling. Could be dealing with a Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Leo. Could be dealing with a Pisces. But this is freedom from control. The devil reversed is freedom from control. It really is. This is breaking free from an unhealthy situation. So this is, is cutting those strings. Now, the devil reverse can also be a disaster. It, it, it can. And this is obsession as well. We have somebody here that needs to be freed from this controlling individual. This could also be a deep, dark place. This, is some, this could be things getting worse. Oh my God. Two of Wands reversed. Now this is unable to move forward. Indecisive. Discontent. The Two of Wands. There's fear of change here. Being held back. Somebody is being held back by another person. But this is freedom. This is freedom. Somebody is going to be cut free. They are. Or they're going to cut themselves free. Right now, they're staying because it feels safe, but they're thinking about it. They're thinking about how they're going to break free from this situation. There could be This could be a sudden arrival or a sudden departure or a sudden return. Some, something suddenly happening. Oh my God, we have, we have somebody, this is, this is like a near death experience. Seriously, this person is in a hole. Seriously, in a hole. And this person, this person is dirty. They're not being taken care of. And, and for some reason they're staying there. Maybe they can't get out. They need some help. We have somebody here that needs help. They're being controlled by somebody in a huge, humongous way. This person is trapped. This person is trapped. This person is trapped in this situation. Now we know the Four of Swords is the death of a person or an idea. Extremely exhausted. Unhealthy. Well, some, we have another person that is keeping another person trapped. Ten of Cups. But freedom is coming and happiness is coming. This person is dreaming of happiness. They are. This person is dreaming of happiness. All they want is happily ever after. All they want is, is bliss, right? That's what everybody wants. I think there's a relationship that has come to an end. And this person is, is really struggling Okay, or they're trapped. They're trapped in the in the memories of the relationship or something like that. Or they may even be delusional. There's going to be a loss. The Ace of Pentacles is a loss. There is. There is going to be a loss. Somebody is not being practical. They're not acting responsible. And I feel like something is going to be taken away. And it's, and it's like being taken away from the universe. There's going to be an uprooting of some sort. Because we have somebody here that isn't healthy. And they're under another person's negative control. And this is not good. Okay, This is a loss. And this is a loss. And this could be a big loss. A huge loss. A huge loss. No victory, no success. There's no progress being made. Somebody was putting on a show. 
but I feel like they didn't do a very good job. They were acting, right? They were acting. Huh. Very manipulative. We have some, ma we have a master manipulator, a master manipulator here. This person is very tricky. This person is very skilled at acting. We have an actor. This is an actor. Yes, we do. We do. We have an actor. Somebody that has been pretending. They've been, been pretending to be a really nice person, you know, but they're actually a beast. They have been under a lot of social pressure. This person is not very spiritual. And I feel like this person is, 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 is experiencing a breakup. They may be experiencing a breakup. They may be about to go through a divorce. Or maybe there's a relationship that has just ended. But they are still under a lot of social pressure to continue the act of being in control. They are feeling disgraced by something. So we have somebody here that's having a hard time doing the right thing because of social pressure. Maybe it's because of their parents. What are their parents going to say? Maybe it's not their parents. Maybe it's just social pressure. We definitely have somebody here that is uh, breaking rules. Doing the opposite of what they say. This person that is uh, very egotistically egotistical in controlling and really isn't who they say they are is going to experience a humongous, it is, this is a, a horrendous loss and this is a big loss. So they're going to experience a horrendous loss. And this has to do with a relationship. It does because this is relationship related. Something in the family. What is this horrendous loss? Partnership. It has to do with a partnership. And two of cups is a partnership. It doesn't have to be lovers. It can be lovers, but it can be, you know, somebody that you are connected to, somebody that you have a relationship with. There's going to be a loss of a relationship. It could be with a family member. It could be with a partner that you work with. It could be a best friend. It could be a lover. It could, there's a, going to be a, because I said, what is this horrendous loss? It is a partnership. This loss is a partner. It, it's a partnership. And I think that the, this, 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 Loss is because we have somebody here that is refusing to let go of control. They're trying to prove to be somebody that they are not. Judgment day is coming. Karma. Karma. Judgment. I mean, judgment is awakening. It is a wake-up call. It's an epiphany. Truth. A truth is about to be revealed. Somebody is about to be held accountable for their lies, for their deception, for their act. Are you ready to be judged? There is a life-changing decision that is about to be made. Karma is coming, and it is big karma. Not for somebody. Okay, let me just change this up for a little bit. I think for somebody that is watching this, there has been a horrendous loss. Or there's going to be, okay? There is. And if there has been a horrendous loss, this leads to a new partnership, okay? It does lead to a new partnership. We do have a new union coming into focus here. There could be a reconciliation. Here, another... Okay, we got what goes around comes around here, and what goes around comes around here. So what goes around comes around. Somebody's negative behavior is about to be dealt with. Okay. Judgment day is coming, whether it's coming from above or coming from the actual system. Okay. There is some sort of judgment that is about to be made, and it does 
It is in regards to a partnership. It's in regards to a union. And this union is not on the same page with the Hierophant reversed. It's not on the same page. There's going to be a big loss. Or somebody has already lost a big opportunity. They've lost something. Because it wasn't practical. They didn't they didn't uh act in a responsible manner. There's there's a lack of stability, there's a lack of security, there's nothing permanent here. It has to do with a relationship or, or or something in your family. I'm sorry, I know people don't want to hear that shit, but it does have to do with a relationship family situation. There's going to be a release of some sort. There is a release that leads to a renewal of some sort. It brings somebody closer. You may feel like you're under attack. I feel like somebody is moving. I feel like somebody is moving. They're moving somewhere. They're just taking what they can. They're taking everything that they have and they're going someplace else. Somebody has been overwhelmed. They've been weighed down by another person. One more card. I'm not going to hit pause and I'm not going to stop. Everything happens for a reason. There could be a sudden arrival. Okay, you think about that. There could be a sudden arrival here. A sudden arrival. Suddenly, suddenly somebody arrives that you were not expecting. And they're taking something. I feel like they're taking something. Somebody is about to get a wake-up call. Something is coming to an end. Somebody was pretending to be somebody that they were not. And I don't think it's going to end on a happy note. I think that somebody is going to be feeling very upset over the whole situation. And I'm going to stop right there. So there is some sort of truth that is about to be revealed. And it is going to change somebody's life in a very big way. I think there's going to be a sudden departure or a sudden arrival. Good luck.